Hello guys, Xenical here and welcome back to another video on my channel. In this video I'm going to show you how to fix your Discord mic in 2018. So without further ado, let's go ahead and begin this video. Alright, so this video might not work for you. If, if for some reason it did not work for you or help you out, make sure you go ahead and check my original Discord mic fix video. That one does have a higher success rate of working and it did help a lot of people out. But I did see a bunch of comments that it did not work for them and other stuff like that. So I'm here to help out and make sure that this video can possibly help and fix those issues that, it not, that I did not address in the first video. And it also is late at night, so I'm not going to be talking super loud. It's about 2 in the morning, so I'm not going to be very loud. So I apologize if you cannot hear me correctly in perfect clarity. So I just want to address that before this video fully starts. There is a couple things that could be the main reason why your mic may not be working. So first things first, you could be muted in your chat. So if you're in like a chat room like this chat room and you're in like a uh, server for uh, talking uh, the voice chat you could actually uh, be muted and that could be why you're not able to talk or it might appear that you're able to talk but people can't exactly hear you that's one thing now another thing is, is if you were to connect to it you can see this little bar right here now that is another thing that can affect your voice so much and if it is in the red or yellow I can guarantee you nobody's gonna understand what you're saying I had a comment on my video my main discord mic fix video and they were saying that none of their friends could understand what he's saying and it's all staticky I'll see if I could put up a picture of that comment but yeah that's the main reason why it's happening you need good connection or at least good signal now before, when I had crappy internet, it was hard to even talk, so I recommend getting better internet or get a better signal, try getting closer to a router, try using ethernet like I'm using right now. Just try to do that and see if it improves at all. Maybe even get a better Wi-Fi card or Wi-Fi adapter, something like that, just to get better connection. So I recommend trying to do that. Alright, the next thing that you should do is go ahead and open up your user settings. Go to voice and video. Now right here you have your input device and you have your output device. Your input would be your uh, your microphone. And then your output would be your uh, headset. So like speakers where it outputs the audio to. Now the output device doesn't really have to be specific. It's not a big deal. It could be a default. The input could has to be selected to your main mic or it can be by default now if you go into your mic settings by right clicking the audio and going to sounds go to recording if this is selected as your default mic as you can see my bars are moving as a check mark right there it's the default mic if it's set to default you can keep that as default if for example, this was my default mic, and that's my headset that I'm wearing right now. I'm not using the mic on it though. Then that would be your default mic, and it would not be your main mic. So it might not be functioning either. So it's recommended you select this as your default, and keep this at your default. If you don't feel like doing that, you could easily go to your microphone right here, and change it to that. It's pretty simple. I'll put, it really doesn't matter unless you're using like speakers or something then select your output to whatever it is. Do not do any NVIDIA high definition audio. That will not uh, work at all. That will not display anything. So don't do that. You will not hear a single thing. So just don't do that. Just keep it at default and you should be good to go. And make sure it is at voice activity. I don't recommend doing push, talk, uh, push to talk because I do have a mute button on my microphone so it's not a big deal for me. I prefer voice activity. And make sure this is also on. I mean, you could do this for a limit, but uh, it's best to have this on. That's just my opinion. OK, 
Okay, so the next thing that I saw a couple comments on were people saying that their mic would not work and then they realized their mic was muted the entire time. So make sure this is not muted. Just make sure it's not. If you have a mic button to mute your microphone, like I'm using the Blue Yeti microphone right now, I have a mute button. Make sure that's not muted either. Same thing with your headset. If for some reason it's a mute button, make sure it's not muted. So make sure that's not muted. And then the defen, that would be your ability to hear people. Make sure that's also not uh, muted either because that will also mute your mic. So that could also be the reason why you're not being able to hear others or you can't even talk to or communicate to anybody. Now if all fails, go to your device manager. Go to audio inputs and outputs. Find your microphone. Mine is the microphone Yeti stereo microphone. If you're using a headset, it should be called microphone USB audio device. I apologize for uh, that noise. It's a clock doing that. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, if you're using a headset, it should be called microphone USB audio device. Make sure you click onto whatever microphone you're currently using. I'm using the Blue Yeti, so I'm going to double click onto it. Go to driver. Click uninstall device. I'm not going to do that because I'm currently using my microphone. Go to action and then click scan for hardware changes. That will reinstall all uh, your drivers that you uninstalled. So your mic drivers. I believe you could also restart your, com your computer afterwards to make sure everything did get installed correctly. You do not want any issues so make sure you restart your computer right afterwards after it's done installing of course. Not during the install because then it could cause corrupted, corrupted files and that would not be good. So hopefully this video did help you out. If you if this did not help you out, make sure you go ahead and check that Discord mic fix video that I did make a year ago. That has a higher success rate. So I recommend watching that one. So I'll see you guys in the next video.